Hi guys, and coming up in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take this to this. So I'll give you the rundown of how I decide how I'm going to do everything, the tools that I'm going to use, and then show you how to work around everything and get it to the finished article. So all right, without further ado, let's crack on. So I picked up this piece in uh, my most previous video, you might have seen it. Right here is an ammonite, most likely a dactylioceros, as you've seen in all my other videos. But what I didn't notice on the video is there looks to be a second. It might still be the same one, but there's a good chance it's a second. So I think that's a good piece to start off with. So yeah, the first plan, I'll try and reveal this ammonite. We're going to go around the side. This is looks where the mouth border is. You can see where the ribs swing outwards. So that tells me that that's where the end of the ammonite is. So the inner whirl will probably be here. So I was just about to say I'm going to prep this side. I've just clocked. There's a crack running through, right through here, which isn't good. So I'm going to run some glue through that now. Wait for that to set for a little while. And then we'll uh, start prepping this one, and then we'll start on that one afterwards. So let's get started. So, you want some good glue. I've got a uh, Paraloid B72, 10% mixture. Could be a little bit stronger, but this should work fine in the cracks. From Zoic Paleotech, I get all of my consolidants, prep tools, and everything else. So for the mess, as you can see, it's a living nightmare. So I'm just going to run that in there, let it set, and then we'll crack on. So just grab the bottle, drop a bit of glue in there. I'll run across here actually just in case because you never know if the crack's running through or not. So as I was saying, you can see that the uh, the rib in here, they swing outwards. So that's where the end of the ammonite is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow this around here, find out where it goes to. It's probably going to come to around here, then come back around and into here. So we'll get this one revealed, then we'll sort that one out. Let's go. Got my uh, T-Rex pen. I won't do it all the way through, but wear your ear protection. This is exactly why you want ear protection. The T-Rex pen's actually quite quiet, but other pens can be quite a lot louder. Obviously, you've got your air compressors, etc. It's a lot of noise, so let's crack on. So when using your pens, you want to let the pen do the work. Don't force anything. If you feel like it's not, not going anywhere, it's struggling, just start, start on another area and just slowly go through it. There's no need to rush. There's no need to push, push on it. The pen will do all the work for you. Right, I'm going to put you onto time lapse mode for a minute and then uh, we'll crack on after that. So, to my surprise, that ammonite that I thought was the second is actually from the same one, which is quite surprising. So it's quite a large ammonite, it's probably about four inch, which is rather big for the Dactylioceros uh, species. So that's a nice surprise that. So uh, yeah, let's crack on. Right, so this is all what's called the initial roughing out phase. So you just want to reveal everything 
make sure everything's in place, but that's it. You don't really want to do much more than just get everything revealed. So obviously it looks a bit scrappy. The Ammonite's very sticky. Sticky meaning the host matrix won't remove away from the shell of the Ammonite very easily, so that's why it's referred to as sticky. So we've revealed all the outer world and where it's coming into the inner world now. So all that I'm going to do now with the rest of my chisel pen is I'm just going to take this layer down because it's quite thick still. I'm going to take this down to a nice level then I'm going to ch change over the tip on this to a pointed stylus and then I'm going to start revealing the inner worlds and then after that we'll carry on with that. So let's get started again. So as you can see Taken all of that rot down now. It's gone to a nice uh, shorter area. The crack that I glued earlier on, so sometimes with these, when you run glue through, one side will start pigging off. So this can either work to your advantage or not. It all depends on how the rot wants to play. There's not really much option in it. So I'm going to run a little bit more glue through here just to be safe. And hope for the best. So we'll change the stylus now. And then we'll crack on. Right, so I'm all changed over with the uh, pointed stylus. So now we'll start going in here, going all the way around, getting this matrix off inside, in between the ribs, all the way around into the inner wheels, and then we'll swap over to a more fine detail pen. And then we'll get the middle out and then clean everything up. Let's go. So that's all the uh, the insides of the outer world revealed. As you can see right there, some of the wheels of the inner ribs are there. It's also a small section, it's quite hard to tell here. Hold on, let me get me light. That's a little bit better maybe. So right here is what might be worrying a little bit. It does happen a lot with these sticky ammonites. So I'm not sure whether that's a rib or whether that's the ribs being taken off and it's calcite. So if it's calcite, it might be an issue. It's just gonna, the shell's just gonna pull off and reveal the calcite sometimes. There's not really much you can do about it other than go steady, go slow, nice and delicately. So we're gonna start revealing all the inner world here. We'll get up to around here and then we'll see what we're working with. Hopefully it turns out nice because it is quite a nice ammonite. Once it's finished, it'll look brilliant. Once it's all cleaned up with the inner wheels and ribs, it's not as sticky as what I expected it to be, surprisingly. So, uh, yeah. So I was right. There is a little bit of calcite. The shell's already pulled away from it. So what I'll do now is I'll actually video this in real time to show you how slowly you need to go. Luckily, most of the ribs are there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pen to take that down to a certain level. And then later on, that, later on I'll use the uh, more fine detail pen really slowly just to take it little bit by little bit off so as not to pull any shell off. So let's, uh, let's film that now. Apologies for the vibrations.
Right, so I've got around it as best as I can. Not really taking any more off, so now we'll get back to the time lapse. We'll carry on revealing here because, as you can see, the inner wheels are preserved quite well there, so that's good. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with how that's ended up. So, the inner wheels are starting to reveal themselves nicely. That little area that I was talking about is not too bad. Funnily enough, that's where the crack ran through, so that was most likely the uh, cause of the problems, but we seem to be through that now, so that's not an issue. So we're gonna carry on revealing all the inner wheels right up until we get around to the middle, because this stylus is quite big. Unfortunately, my other pen that does this similar kind of work, but just a smaller stylus, it's out of commission at the minute, so. We'll have to uh, make do with the fine detail pen to do all that work. But we'll get these inner wheels revealed now. So, uh, yeah. It's turning out to be quite a nice ammonite, I must admit. I'm very pleased so far. So I've just discovered something really annoying that might ruin this piece, but we'll carry on anyway. You see here, this darker shade of colour, that's calcite in the middle. Now there is a chance that the inner wheels are preserved, but my guess is, is that they are not preserved at all. They're just a calcite layer in the middle, which is a little annoying. You know, you do all this kind of work and then it happens, then you get to that. But that's what happens sometimes, you just gotta accept it. I suppose that's a good thing for this video to let you know the disappointments that might happen. But we'll carry on regardless. We'll carry on down into these inner wheels, see if we can get a, get a middle out of, out of it, even if it is there. If not, we'll carry on. We'll just clean it up as normal, just to show you how it all works. So yeah, as you can see, it's coming into here. I have a feeling the inner wheels are probably gonna end around here, right around in line with the mouth border. So around there, I'd say. So we'll carry on, we'll see if we can get anything out of it, but I'm doubtful, but you never know with these things. Well, to my surprise, majority of the inner wheels are preserved. I'm going to change over to the fine detail pen to pull out this last bit there. But I am really, really surprised by that. I did not expect there to be a middle underneath that calcite, but it looks like there is. How much of it, I don't know. But that's gone a lot better than I expected. That's great. Awesome stuff. Right, now we'll turn change over to the uh, Micro Raptor from Zoic Paleotech. This is a much finer detail pen. Nice sharp nib. Could do with a resharpen, actually, I think. I might do that before I get started. But yeah. This is all to get the inner wheels. You get all in between here and here and here, all the way around in there, especially in the middle where that other pen was, will not get it. So yeah, let's crack on. Let's hope that there's a middle in there. So now we're gonna come back to this pen I'm just going to go all, I've already started as you can see, I forgot to start filming, but we're going to get the bigger chunks that are in these inner, in between the inner wheels. We're going to use this pen to take that matrix down a bit, and then after that we'll go in between it again with the finer detail pen. So with the bigger pen you don't really want to do it as much, but it's okay to do it depending on what it is. You want to just run in between, and pull off everything, until you get to around in here. That's when you want to be reverting over to your other other pens. But that's a good starting point. So we'll carry on from here. We'll go all the way around to about here. And then we'll go over to the fine detail pen and we'll get the rest. And then we'll smooth off the matrix, etc. Right, back over to the Micro Raptor for the fine detail work.
right so that's the majority of it done off camera a little bit i've hollowed out of the mouth border a bit we'll grind that down grind into that and make the uh make it hollow so i'll put this in the air abrasive cabinet now i can't really show you that because it's just i've got no way of filming in there dust's everywhere so you're just gonna have to take my word for it but yeah we'll throw that in there now in fact no i'm gonna grind that out first then we'll throw it in the cabinet so yeah let's go right so here it is fresh out the blasting cabinet the abrasive just mainly takes out most of the uh, the points that you've uh, dinked it with. Mouth borders are hollowed out. I mean, in my own time, I, if it's something for my collection, I will spend a lot more time with this or a customer prep. But this is just something just for the sake of a YouTube video. So I'm going to go wax this up and I'll show you the uh, the after. Lovely stuff. And there you have it. Typical preservation for a sticky ammonite, they don't look incredible. But, as you can see, it's as good as it's going to get without spending a lot more time on it, but I just don't have the time today, so I won't be doing that. But that's all waxed up. This will probably just go on eBay. It's quite a large one, though. I mean, what? Might be just under four inches, I'd say. Still a pretty ammonite. You know, sit on somebody's shelf happily. So, yeah. Not bad at all. So, hope you all enjoyed that, guys. Hope it was kind of informative or not, I don't know. But, you know, I enjoy doing these videos and people ask for them all the time. So, there you go. I'll be putting more of these videos out on a weekly basis. They do take quite a long time to video, so I usually do them in bunches. So, I'm going to film about three or four today of different species of ammonites, etc. And hopefully that will keep your prepping needs happy. So, yeah, if you enjoy the video, guys, like and subscribe as always. Put out fresh content usually weekly hunts depending on uh, if i get a chance to go out or if i'm working or not it all depends on the full-time job 